We're Nat and James, and this is our sailboat Zephyr. She's taken us all over the world and been our home for three and a half years. With over 20,000 nautical miles under her keel and our sights firmly set on sailing around the world, we're on a mission to make some vital upgrades and much needed repairs. So join us every week for a new video. If you would like to support our journey, a great way is by clicking the subscribe button. Enjoy the video, guys. You're a beautiful sight in the summer night. Good morning, guys. As you can hear, James has started grinding downstairs. We've just had a couple days off for the 4th of July, which was our first 4th of July in, in the US. And it was unbelievable. We just had such, such a good time. And we feel so fortunate to be a part of that. So um, thanks, Jeff and Cam. It was excellent. Uh, now we're back to work. So here we are back at Kentmore Marina trying to get through our huge list of projects. This week I spend it working on anything on our boat that needs a spruce up. So I find our old companionway doors and sand them in preparation for a good old varnish. I think I've, I have honestly missed my calling in life. I love doing woodwork. <laughs> anyway, back to the other door. I'll slow you, show you now in slow motion so that we can see it a bit better. The following day I focus on the stairs and sand off the varnish that was previously on there. <music> Meanwhile, poor James, well you guessed it, he's still sanding that underside. Work. James is sanding and I have begun this project again to keep redoing all the floors since I've pretty much finished all the sanding. So I did all the stairs yesterday. They are done. And now I'm just waiting for the sealer and the varnish to arrive from Total Boat and then I'm gonna start um, painting, which I'm really looking forward to it. So, yeah, I'm gonna get stuck in with this and then I'll show you a little bit of the progress that James is up to. We're getting the old anti fouling off and we're doing the rudder and we discovered water in a little pocket here and uh, it seems like it's not in the rest of the rudder which is good maybe it was an old repair so we're just checking it out we got a guy here he's gonna seems to know about fiberglass and he's gonna check it out for us because we got no clue yeah no, but in terms of water though do you think it was just a pocket for the water like you said, maybe a pinhole or? I think so. It didn't seem like it went deeper. No. And then, um, That's good news. Well, I think we're about to finish up. James has had a huge day sanding downstairs. I've had a pretty big day doing the floors and a couple of other bits and bobs outside um, and a lot of cleaning. I've tried to tackle cleaning the bilges, um, which is a very sweaty job when you're in here with just two fans and the humidity I think today is like through the roof like 95% or something so it's just constant sweat but 
still not as bad as Panama. Panama, I'd be absolutely dripping. So um, that's a win. Anyway, I'm gonna finish hoovering up, get James's bag ready for his shower, and I think we're gonna call it a day. I've gotta do some editing back at home, back at the apartment, so that's what we're gonna do. Hey guys, so we are in the car right now. That was a huge day at the boatyard and we are going home. So I don't think we've kind of explained what we're doing, where we're staying in terms of while we do the boat works because we're not staying at the boatyard, which is normally what we do. We normally stay in the boat yard on the boat and it's super messy and horrible but we always live through it this time thanks to jeff and cam we we're actually staying in a in an apartment in annapolis and driving back and forth to the boat yard so it is amazing because you get to switch off at the end of the day drive back in their car as well we yeah. don't have a rental, they also lent us their car. We're driving Cam's old Jetta, which is awesome. It's amazing. I forgot how to drive. <laughs> and yeah, so we're going back and forth towards um, Annapolis at the moment. So we have to cross this Bay Bridge, as they call it. And every day we commute back and forth over there. And it has just been such a lifesaver having that place there because Oh, I don't know. It, it really yeah. has changed the way we've been kind of working on the boat. Yeah, it gives us a chance to separate ourselves from the project and I guess normal life. You know, we have access yeah. to hot water and laundry and, you know, a nice clean bed. It just makes life a lot, lot easier. We have done it in the past, but this is just life changing. I think it really has made it so much easier for us. We are into week three I think no two and a half weeks James is still sanding I'm still doing the floorboards but we're getting there slowly so first thing I do is grab the hoover hoover and clean out the bilges as you can see they need a bit of a clean and that one there I've put in the floorboard I did yesterday into there so now I've just got to do this one, which is the one that has this stool on it. So it's kind of a harder one because we've had to take all this off, off of there. And I think once I've got it down, we're going to have to drill holes through there to put this back in. So ah, this is a big one, but I'm looking forward to getting this done. It's actually kind of a nice square. So it should be easy to easy one to do, not so much cutting around stuff. So I'm gonna get that done, and that should be it. Perfect. All right, let's get going. As you can see I've pretty much got it all done I just need that one piece there sliver which I'm gonna do now and I think the rest will be covered by this so I don't know whether to do it or not I'm kind of like at two minds at the moment so I'm gonna see Right, so I've just made the holes for the bottom of the seat to go back in. So as you can see here, those two which I just punched with a skewer on the way up and then that one which I've just kind of been um, getting rid, shaving off to make the perfect hole there. And now I've got to do this side and that'll be perfect for our seat to sit back in and then I can put this floorboard back in attach that and get all the food put away again and stuff like that and then we can walk again so let's hope the other side goes just as smoothly Thank 
this. So now let's put the seat back in here and see how that looks. See if it fits. So that's back on. Now I've got to try and get the screws through, but the bigger hole seems to fit. So that's good. That's what I was worried about, really. Um, but that seems to be all good. So let's try these and get that done. All right, I've just had to make the holes a little bit bigger for the screws. Um, so let's see if second go is a charm. I don't know how, I've just lost two screws. So, don't know what I've done with them. Where's the other two? Oh, there they are. Okay, got them. Let's try this again. That one won't go in. Let's see on the other side. Yes. There's always one. Always one. One, two, three, four. Now, on the other side, which I don't know what I've done with that either. So people, if you're doing this, make sure you know where you're putting your gear. I think this is them. Okay, let's put them on. So look at that contrast, looks pretty cool. It would be nice to get this back in to there. I've hoovered all in here, I just need to get a bit of wipe so that it's nice and clean and then we're good to go. Look at that flooring in there. I think it's looking really, really good. I'm really happy with the results. It has added a little bit of weight because they are quite heavy these flooring tiles but um, it's given the boat a brand new look which is nice because it was looking very very weathered and old and it will also protect the um, vinyl, uh, not vinyl, the veneer that's underneath so anyway let's get this in and done. Nat's super keen to get the floor done so Time to go back to home deeds. And I've taken about a third of all of the blue down to the gel coat. So nice. two thirds of the original hard base layer, anti fouling, whatever Beneteau put on to gel coat. Done.